<sighs> Electric campers. I'd love one. I'd love one especially if it was a Tesla. But they don't make anything yet that can do that. I'm confident when they do, somebody will come around and make something. But in the meantime, we've got these fine folks at ModVan. Lori's here joining us. And we're going to talk about uh, what is available today in an electric RV. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Brian, I'm Lori. I'm a co-founder and chief of operations at ModVans. And our ModVans is an award-winning Class B RV manufacturer. We're a certified RV manufacturer, which means customers get access to RV financing, extended warranties, RV insurance, and sometimes you can even write off the interest on your loan as a second mortgage. But we're here today because we, uh, well, first of all, we build exciting, innovative camper vans for, you know, up from one person up to seven. Our, all our models seat up to seven people, have two beds, they have pop-up tops. Let's That's take a look. Really comfortable. Yeah, but let's take a look. Um, that one's full. We'll go here. Sure. Um, this is our medium roof model. It's the CV1M. And it's actually the same conversion as our low roof model, the CV1. The difference is there's more standing room when the pop top is down. And oh. there's a little more space between beds. Uh, we have this one configured with seven seats. You can see, oh, wow. you know, so it can replace an SUV. It's good for families or friends, oh, however you want to travel. Seats. Everything behind the two front seats is modular and can be unbolted and removed. So you don't have to always use all the seats. Sure. If sometimes I need seven. Sometimes I need exactly. five. Sometimes I need four, it looks and like. If you want, you can just have two. Um, sure. You can add tables. And then you have a dance floor. We have a dance floor. Yeah. This is our pop top bed. The bed up here is six and a half feet long by four feet wide. You can see it has windows wow. all around with like the plastic vinyl and insect screen. So you can get light, you can get dark, you can get breeze, whatever you want. The cushions we have custom made, they're five inches thick with memory foam on one side and a firmer foam on the other. Some of our customers tell us they're more comfortable than their beds at home. And I was actually tempted to come out and sleep in the van last night because the bed at my hotel was not comfortable. So if this so is you can flip them. This is too soft. I don't like it. Flip right. it. You can now flip. you've got a firmer feel. Exactly. Boy, that is so. so simple and elegant. This is our second bed. It sets up across the cabinets. It's uh, six feet by four feet. And um, you can actually remove these panels and cushions and stack them on the side, strap them down. Um, for when you're parked and sure. not sleeping. These uh, bed rails just unpin and then you can attach them up here for storage. Wow. So this is called our Slim Kitchen. Our standard kitchen actually has a stove built in, but when you have two seats in the third row, there's not a lot of room to use the kitchen. So we offer the Slim Kitchen with just the sink and then we so give you an induction cooktop for cooking. And uh, that's our control panel. The, mm. uh, there's a, a switch oh. for lifting and Fridge, lowering the bed. bed lights, main yeah, you lights. Can you can turn on the lights. Uh, just, oh, yeah. yeah. And then bed lights. There we go. When we were designing the top, I wanted to be able to sit up. I wanted to be able to read. So we made it tall enough to sit up. We put bed lights up there. So and I, then I wanted a comfortable sleep. I am 5'6". Uh, and I am... This is pretty I, much I can, five eight. I can max out if I tippy yeah. toe it. Yeah. Um, so for it's anyone. About five, six, two, so. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. Um, if you have to crouch a little uh, over five eight, uh, that's not a that's not a big deal. That's not uh, what I would call a deal breaker. Alternatively, now I have a table up here, so I have to be careful that I'm storing. Oh, yeah. You can stack these cushions oh. and panels to get more standing room and you can stack them all the way back if you want all right. and then you can open up the entire van Boy, that is so much space at that point wow. and you got the ac yes this one has a rooftop ac uh your glasses very nice. are right it there will keep by you your cool foot. i see them right so we have a refrigerator in the cabinet here a little bit hard to access when you have all these seats and the bed set up the there's a 25 gallon water tank in the driver's side cabinet. If you want to come out, walk around uh -huh. and look in from the back, you can see. And this is built on a, what is this built on? This is a Ford Transit. It's okay. a medium roof Ford Transit cargo van. So we order them direct from the factory. We cut the roof off, put the pop-up top in, 
Oh, the, extra yeah. seating in the back. This is great. So this is our, we call it the driver's side cabinet. There's storage in the top. The bottom is a 25 gallon water tank. And it's all rolled, so it's it's very compact. It yes. doesn't take swing space yeah, and it's so lightweight. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about them getting blocked. Um, and then this is our, we call it the kitchen cabinet. It's got the refrigerator. You can actually fit an extra 10 gallon water tank in this cabinet or use it for storage. Um, this is soft-sided storage that you can use in either our medium or high roof models. Um, this is our outdoor shower. Oh. So when you want to use the shower, we give you basically a boot tray to stand on. Yeah. And you can, uh, we, there's a curtain here that pulls across so you don't get the inside of the van wet. You can also use it as, for privacy when you're on the toilet. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's another curtain that pulls across the back if you need privacy when you're showering. Mm -hmm. you know, well, why would I want that? Right. So the great thing about our vans is that uh, you can go off-road, you can get, park wherever you want, you can camp wherever you want, and pretty much you don't need to worry about privacy. So um, we order all our stock vans from mm -hmm. the factory with all-wheel drive, EcoBoost engine, mm -hmm. um, blind spot information system, adaptive cruise control. So it's an, actually a really nice Ford Transit chassis that we build on. And are you making these out of electric yet? Not yet. We have actually designed the body of an electric vehicle. We have developed a huge lithium battery system with a cloud-based app for monitoring and controlling all the systems in the van. And when the right chassis comes along uh, with enough range right. that makes sense for camping and adventuring, we'll build that body and, and transfer that battery system. Oh, you're saying 70 miles of range might not be adequate for it camp? It might for... not be. <laughs> So and that's it unfortunate might get you to the dump station. <laughs> it's unfortunate, so. but that's un that's where we're at right now. Winnebago is really trying, and what they made is not compelling. Well, they made a model on the e-transit, which is kind it's of a joke. It's inadequate. It's yeah, just inadequate. Even we have some people in Hawaii that keep in touch with us because they hope for an EV, and we thought, well, if it makes sense for anybody, it might make sense for sure. people in Hawaii. But uh, one of the guys said there's a volcano he wants to go camp at. And it's just too far, just out of range it, to go. Well, with it's the just e out of round trip range so, for and sure. And then when you yeah. add the weight of the conversion, the, the, the e weight of the conversion, and then the and then the miles. low efficiency of so, some of the roads that they would be using, right, right. because that's not ideal. We're, yeah. But we're tracking a lot of the companies that are working on skateboard chassis that might work for us, and um, yeah, and I, we're hopeful to know. see some of those in the next couple yeah. couple years. You got a, on this one over here. You've got an an extra trunk. Correct. So this is our MH1. This is a high roof uh, transit chassis. It's taller and longer. So it's a completely different conversion. Um, we actually, ha we call it the garage. There's a whole bunch of storage space in the rear, but the conversion in this van is completely different. Different cabinets, different beds. There's a queen size bed in the bottom. There's another in that pop-up top. You can see that pop-up top is actually a wedge. Uh -huh. uh, that has something to do with physics and center of gravity. And let's go look at the, you said this is the. This is our original, the CV1. And as I mentioned, it's the same conversion as our medium roof, just, you know, on a low roof chassis. Oh, um, I see. You I can get see you. there's not quite as much room between the lower and upper beds. So, but for a lot of people, this is going to be. This is a fantastic way to travel. This and is it's, what. And it's car sized. Yes. Yeah, so our this is why it was our original. When we, my husband built the first van. Right. And we never planned to go into the RV business. We built something for ourselves, and what we wanted was something that was multi-purpose. We could drive it every day. It's less than 20 feet long. It fits in a parking space. It gets decent gas mileage. Um, you know, it's comfortable. You know, we can take the seats in and out when we need them. But we wanted something that would work as an SUV to carry our family. Sure. That he could uh, take on the weekend for, you know, rock climbing trips or whatever. We could go as a family. We could go as a couple. He could go as an individual. And it would still be practical and easy to drive. We've got the same control system yes in same all of control them. system same cabinet same beds um, and uh, this again one I am I am I am not the tallest 
but I am unable to, without tippy-toeing, touch the ceiling. It's close to seven feet of standing room when yeah. the top is up. And you can see we've stacked the bed panels and cushions. Mm -hmm. to, That's to give a different feel of what you've got. That's pretty much a must when you're in the got. low roof van. You know, so basically what we do, we get where we're going, we park, we pop the top up, we stack the cushions, and then, you know, you can move around, use the kitchen, access the fridge, get to the toilet. We sit here and work or have breakfast or coffee you know, or whatever, and it's... Uh... And I'll tell you, the the modular systems you guys have are so much smarter than what, yeah. with even 15 years yeah. ago, where so. the purpose, where too many things were not thought through. Right. So that's great. But we now, can put surfboards in here. Uh, we've put... Oh, sure. Um, what is, what is the here. length from, uh, from the driver to the back? Um, I think it's a little over 10 feet. I haven't yeah, measured it in a while. It's, <laughs> I used to measure it when I ordered the flooring, but I don't handle the inventory sure. anymore. <laughs> and if you want to know, you can also just go look at you, what it is in there. Yeah, a, you can check our online. We have a frequently asked sure. questions section. And, um, but yeah, you can remove cabinets. You can remove seats if you want more storage. You can take everything out in probably about 20 minutes if you want to move furniture or get sure. a Home Depot and get some sheets of plywood or something. Yeah. And let me tell you how nice it is to sleep in this pop-up top and get a good night's sleep and stargaze and watch the sunrise all without lifting your head off the pillow. That is nice. <laughs> so I love this uh, this vehicle. This is, you know, maybe just because it's our original and we've been using one ourselves for about the last seven years, so. So what do they cost? Uh, so the low roof model starts at 108. That includes okay. a, a transit chassis. It does not include all the extra options on the transit chassis, so that would add to the cost, like power wheel windows, drive, AC. eco boost engine. That kind sure. of stuff. Okay. Um, and then you get and, a pretty. And for that difference, you can just go to Ford's website and get a pretty good idea. Yeah. So I probably add about ten or twelve thousand dollars worth of options on sure. the vans that I order. Because so, if you're, yeah. I figure if you're gonna buy a nice van, you want a you're nice gonna want van. You want something that drives well. You can go off road if you yeah. want to. You can, you know, get up the grade on yeah. the five if you need to. And the uh, and the higher <laughs> models go to. So, um, so the medium roof starts at uh, 118, and the high roof starts at 131. Okay, so, so not a huge spread. Right. It really comes down more to, I think, what you want in terms of a form factor, in terms of the size itself. Yeah, and how you're yeah. going to use the battery. Our X series. Um, Can you tell me what, what we got going on here. Uh, this is just conduit for the wiring that goes up into the. That is the, so elegant. The and options simple. on the roof. Yeah. There's like there's an AC up there. Because how do you get the power to the AC? There's a cell phone booster yeah. up there. There's uh, solar panels. So this is just the conduit from like the control panel up to the rooftop right. appliances. Okay. So. Well, Lori, that was yeah. pretty awesome. Um, I guess what I would ask the folks at home is. Mm -hmm is what do we miss? What do we misunderstand? Uh, what questions do you have? Uh, is this the sort of thing that would be compelling? Once we get an electric version, of course, they don't make cars, they make cars better. So we gotta wait for the actual cars to come out for them to actually be able to do it. And you don't want 70 miles of range, Winnebago, I'm sorry. It's a great proof of concept they've got, but that's all it is. They're not going to sell very many of those. Ours is going to be a game changer. It's going to be as awesome as these, but better. <laughs> it's going to be great. So, these are game changers. They're they are. Really, uh, well, and they're so we beautiful and so much fun. Probably half of our customers who trade in their SUVs or their trucks and drive these every day. Yeah. We have soccer moms. We have a lady in Ventura who drops her son off at high school every day and, and heads to the beach to surf. So. Oh. Um, they're that, great vehicles for living. individuals and for families, yeah. anybody. Awesome. So, Okay, thank you, Lori, and thank Thanks, you, everybody. Brian. And uh, yeah, for uh, the rest Bye. of you guys, uh, like, subscribe, you know, the usual things so that YouTube knows to actually show this video to other people. And stay tuned, stay juicy. That would and be I can't great. wait to hear from you, clever robots. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, on the road, maybe.